All right, today we are gonna make some ribs. No, not those kind of ribs. These things right here are called the ribs on a piano soundboard. They help support it. They help support the pressure of the strings that push down on there, and they also help give the soundboard the kind of shape that we want. So, I make my ribs slightly, um, they're not flat on the bottom, they're slightly rounded, they have a radius to them, and the way I achieve that is I have these, these uh, two guys here that are not flat. So I'm going to clamp this down to my bench, and you can see there's a space underneath there. Try to get it evenly into the center here. To the center of these two things as close as I can and can't do this of course holding the camera so I have one guy who watches my videos who says I should make them a little longer so this is what I'm this is how I'm gonna make it longer by fumbling with the stupid camera to try to get it into some spot where you can see what's going on that's the only thing I can think of to make these things longer. So, so here's this thing, it's still not flat in there. I'm going to take this clamp and I'm going to squeeze it down like this with the clamp. Now it has that a, a bow shape to it. Then I'm going to clamp it with the C clamp. Take away this clamp, put on that clamp, put on another clamp, and then if I had a camera person, you could see that there's now a smiley face under there and it's no longer flat. So now we gotta make this flat. Come on, come on work with me here, plane. There we go. Obviously, wood's gonna come off the edges and first. Got a little bad spot right here, but that's going to be on the over on the end of the soundboard where nobody's going to see it. You'll never see it. You'll never know. And then look down to see if you're doing this, making this straight, which is not. It's not hypercritical that these are perfectly straight, like this. And sometimes you can adjust the quarter. These are quarter sawn pieces of wood, and you can consciously make it a little crooked. If you'd like to fix the quarter. Now we're getting close. There's a pretty good, with this plane, there's a pretty good one of those. Now take the smoother plane. And I almost made it across. Not quite. There. I could tell by listening and looking at this that it's that this piece of wood is now it's now curved. But see if you can see this. It's also straight across here, which is the most important part almost to making a soundboard. These things cannot come apart. They can't come off of the soundboard or you're screwed. You cannot fix that. Let me take the camera off again. I hope you're, hope you're sufficiently puking from moving around so much. But anyway, there, it's not flat, but it's flat across. It's a good glue joint, which, while well, I have you trapped here, I might as well do a rant about sharpening. I hear a lot of people talking about polishing their edges a lot on their planes to make them super smooth, microscopically smooth which I don't care about at all because originally, let's see if I can get over there. Oh, it's way up there. Can you see it back there? It's hidden back here. This is called a tubing plane and it actually has little grooves in it. Come on, focus, focus, focus. 
it has, anyway, it's not flat. It puts little imperfections in the wood. And originally, these joints were toothed. So you don't care about how perfectly smooth they are. You care about that if you're doing a face, you know, some kind of cabinet making where the face is going to be showing out. What I, but I, what I do care about is that the blade is totally straight across, completely straight across. That's the only way that this piece of a wood is going to be completely straight across, is if the blade is straight across. And these diamond hones are the, as close to perfect, I think, as you can get. And then it's also important to take these, you see this little thing there? That means it's not perfectly smooth. So one way to simply, these things are very soft and they, they, they flatten very easily. So every time I'm going to sharpen a blade, before I do that, I just flatten the bottom of this. It takes minutes. So all I'm making sure is if you didn't do that and you use this stone to polish your, so you'd have a small imperfection in your blade, which would lead to a small imperfection on your piece of wood which leads to a frustrating day of trying to glue something together. Instead, if you end up with something nice and flat and straight across and witnessed by, you know, one of these things from start to finish being um, even and straight, then you got nothing to worry about. This thing should glue on without any drama. So without any more drama, let me finish the rest of these things. And uh, maybe I'll show gluing the soundboards, gluing the ribs on or something like that.